Princess Beatrice's fiancé Eduardo Maplimas suddenly split from the mother of his son months before dating the daughter of the Duke and Duchess of York. The millionaire property tycoon was also engaged to marry Chinese-American architect Dara Huang before their relationship ended suddenly, the Mail Online reports. Her mother, Lily, 69, said she only found out their relationship was over when Mr. Matsi, 34, was pictured with Beatrice, 31, six months later. She added, I think Dara was hiding it from me. She didn't want me to be sad. I am shocked. The couple share a little boy, Christopher, who has the nickname Wolfie. Ms. Huang has not responded to the news her ex has popped the question to the Queen's granddaughter, and instead posted images of herself on Instagram after being jet-lagged from flights between the US and London. Mr. Matsi recently spoke of how he cares for his son, who he and his ex share joint custody of. He said, I take. Christopher, to school a couple of mornings a week and finish in time to put him in bed three or four evenings. Princess Beatrice and her husband to be announced their engagement this afternoon, sending royal fans into a frenzy. Buckingham Palace said in a statement, which read, The Duke and Duchess of York are delighted to announce the engagement of Her Royal Highness Princess Beatrice of York to Mr. Eduardo Mapley Mazzi. Her Royal Highness and Mr. Mapley Mazzi became engaged while away for the weekend in Italy earlier this month. The wedding will take place in 2020. Princess Beatrice's sister posted her congratulations, saying, Bibi, wow! I'm so happy for you my dearest big sissy and dear Ada. It's been a long time coming and you two are meant to be. Camera emoji, by me. Meanwhile, Beatrice and Eduardo reveal they were extremely happy, adding, We are both so excited to be embarking on this life adventure together and can't wait to actually be married. We share so many similar interests and values and we know that this will stand us in great stead for the years ahead, full of love and happiness. Beatrice is following in the footsteps of her younger sister Eugenie, who had a star-studded wedding at St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle in October 2018. The Duke and Duchess of York have announced their delight at the engagement. They said, We are thrilled that Beatrice and Eduardo have got engaged, having watched their relationship develop with pride. We are the lucky parents of a wonderful daughter who has found her love and companion in a completely devoted friend and loyal young man. We send them every good wish for a wonderful family future. Beatrice's wedding will be the fourth royal one in recent years following the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's and Eugenie's in 2018. Prince and Princess Michael of Kent's daughter Lady Gabriella Windsor's then tied the knot to fiancé Tom Kingston in May 2019. All three took place in the Gothic 15th century St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle in Berkshire, with Beatrice likely to be offered the chance to marry in the same venue by the Queen. Her future husband Eduardo is the son of former Olympic skier Count Alessandro Mapli Mazzi and Nikki Shale. Eduardo, or Edo, is a count himself, and has been a friend of the Yorks for some time. His stepfather was Christopher Shale, a senior Tory and a close friend of former Prime Minister David Cameron. He died from heart disease at the Glastonbury Festival in 2011. Princess Beatrice will marry boyfriend Eduardo Mapli Mazzi in 2020 according to the couple's engagement announcement. But why is the 31-year-old princess looking to walk down the aisle so quickly? Princess Beatrice and multimillionaire boyfriend Eduardo Mapli Mazzi have been together since mid-September last year. Last week the couple announced they were engaged and planned to get married next year. According to royal biographer Ingrid Seward, the couple will marry as early as next spring. But what is the driving force behind the whirlwind romance to marriage for Princess Beatrice and boyfriend Eduardo? B and Edo made their first appearance together at the National Portrait Gallery's 2019 gala in March. Since then, they have stepped up their relationship, taking family holidays together and even making a joint appearance at Lady Gabriella Windsor's wedding in May, and now even getting engaged. Eduardo is also moved into Beatrice's home at St. James Palace earlier this year. The couple may have been together for around a year, but according to royal expert Ingrid Seward, 
they may be following in the footsteps of the whirlwind romance between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Royal commentator Ingrid Seward, editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, told Hello, they're going to get married, I was told by a member of the family. I think a wedding as early as next spring or summer is likely. Unlike her royal cousins, Princess Beatrice does not have to ask permission to marry from her grandmother the Queen. Instead, ninth in line to the throne Beatrice is able to decide when she is ready to settle down and start a family. Princess Beatrice and Eduardo visited Queen Elizabeth II in Balmoral last week alongside her father Prince Andrew, mother Sarah Ferguson, Princess Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooksbank. Ingrid told Hello! Magazine, it's possible they wanted to tell the Queen that Beatrice was engaged. They have to find a gap in her diary before they named the day and this would have been the ideal opportunity to discuss it. According to royal sources, Beatrice is ready to start a family with the property tycoon and is said to be head over heels in love with Eduardo. A source said, Beatrice is desperate to get married as soon as possible and is already trying to fall pregnant. She wants a family and doesn't care if she's pregnant when they walk down the aisle, even though this would be heavily frowned upon by the senior royals. However, the truth is, we could have a royal shotgun wedding on our hands.